Hey guys, I'm so excited to do this live tonight. We are going to be talking all about my friend's journey with her mother um, and her cancer journey and talking all about our little yellow pill and why we love this company and I can't wait to bring her on. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hey, hi, it's working. Oh hi, my Jenny. gosh. Hey girl, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm so great. This is exciting. Thanks for having me on. Yes, thank you for coming on. I think my camera is a little tilted, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> you look great. You look gorgeous. <laughs> uh, so do you, even in your beachy I know, attire. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to introduce my friend Jenny. She's also my mentor, top leader for our team. She's a uh, six-figure residual earner and she's also part of the John Maxwell team and she's just a huge inspiration to me um, when I was ready to walk away from network marketing this little yellow pill <laughs> came into my life at the right time because I asked God to show me a better way and I kid you not the very next day I get this message uh, about the science behind it and I kind of wanted to ignore it and I just couldn't and then I got to meet the beautiful and wonderful Jenny Crane, and uh, she's just been a huge inspiration to me. So Aww, I you. would love Are it. Are you kidding me? I'm so honored, <laughs> Kim. Like, you know, I've been building my business now for seven years, and to have a leader like you come on our team and to be able to work side by side with you has been a huge blessing. I mean, your leadership, just seeing how coachable and trainable you are right up front, you're just awesome. You lead with your heart. So I'm the blessed one, and I'm just so thankful for you. Well, thank you. Don't make me cry. <laughs> both know I do we that a lot. <laughs> tears. That's okay. <laughs> um, but you know, the whole reason, guys, I I got into this um this this company really is because the last four years of my life, I've really been digging into um, natural wellness because of everything we've gone through with my son Brennan. And I always knew there was a better way after feeling so, I hate to say it, but bullied and just felt very small and, and, and knowing what I knew was good for my son, but constantly feeling this, this, this pressure, right, from the system. And I, I hate to be that person, but it really is the truth. And um, Jenny's story with her mother is super inspiring. And, it, and it's why we are here, you know, speaking the truth, even though it's really scary, because, you know, we are taught that. Um, going this route is, is, is bad. I, I don't know why it is taught this, but it's such an unfortunate thing because so many people are sick and dying from so many illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, I've had cancer in my family, like you wouldn't believe. I've lost so many family members. My father had colon cancer in 2004. Um, and so cancer is very dear, near and dear to my heart. And so mm -hmm. if you would, I would love for you to share um, your story about your mother's journey with natural healing and her cancer. Oh, thank you, Kim. Well, you know, I have to say that everything in your life sometimes leads you to where you need to be. Um, all the yeah. challenges, all the growth experiences, it's all a moment in time to teach you where you need to be when your calling arises. And I have to say that I've been very deep into a wellness journey for about 10 years now. Um, I had been fortunate to have found um, the little yellow pill and this company uh, when I was on my own health challenge. And so from there, it's just been a passion to uh, really understand the workings of the human body and understand that our, the system has lost faith, I believe, in the power of the human body. And unfortunately, um, it's gotten to the point where unless somebody is educated, it's so easy to fall down that pitfall or that rabbit hole of not understanding, like when our bodies are... Um, you know, suffering from inflammation or some sort of a disease. It's, their, it's, it's our body's way of crying out and saying, look, there's dis-ease in the body. There's something that, that you need to fix. And so my journey began, like I said, 10 years ago with my own health challenge. I found this information, the little yellow pill. I, I, I researched all about NERF2 activation. It completely changed my life and my health. But not only did it change my life and my health, like I said, it set me on a path and a journey that prepared me for the moment when my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And when she got that diagnosis uh, last February, um, 
it was devastating. You know, nobody wants to hear that their mom has been diagnosed with breast cancer. But the crazy thing is, is my mom's never had health challenges. You know, she's always been healthy. Cancer does not run in our family. So when she was diagnosed with breast cancer and the type of breast cancer that she was diagnosed with, triple negative breast cancer, uh, was, was not, wow. it, it was like, I, I'd like to tell people like, if you're going to be diagnosed with a certain type of breast cancer, this is the one that you do not want. Um, the reoccurrence rate was 85% after the standard of care. Um, most, most women that di do get the standard of care treatment, which is the red devil chemo, um, that's what they call it. There's a, there's an 85% uh, reoccurrence rate after three years. And when I was doing my research and understanding what I had already known to be completely off about our health system and cancer treatment, it terrified me. And I had already always told my mom, mom, like, you need to get on these products. You need to start activating. It was one of those things where like for five years, I had already been activating my body, but it wasn't until she was diagnosed that she's like, wow, I need to start listening, you know, like, let's figure this out. And I originally told her that we wanted to get her treatment outside of the United States just because I had known too much. So we had about a three week time frame. I had a three week time frame to advocate for her. In fact, you guys, if you're watching this video, I want you to share this video. Um, I want you to tag somebody that you know that's dealing with cancer because the information I'm going to be sharing is, is detrimental to, to what they need to hear. And so I knew that we wanted to get her treatment out, out in Germany, but of course she had, you know, Kaiser insurance to start, which by the way, they misdiagnosed her originally. Um, I wow. had enough experience to know that if, if you're going to go down this path, you're getting a second opinion on your pathology, which was huge, by the way. You guys, what I'm going to tell you is that educating yourself and questioning the system is one of the, number one, I want, if you take anything away from this video, take this away. So I Amen. had three weeks to go to every single doctor's appointment. I put my whole, my life on hold for three weeks, um, went with her to every single oncology appointment, called Germany. I already knew the clinic that I, that I wanted to take her in Germany. Well, through all of this advocating and uncovering and, and like really having the desire to get her the best treatment possible. We found a clinic in Germany. Well, I'm, I'm a, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason, but during all of this time that we were going to her oncology appointments, um, we got in touch with a, with a natural cancer center in Irvine, California, which is about 30 minutes from my house. So I told her, I said, mom, you have to be open-minded. You have to hear what this doctor had to say. So through all the oncology appointments with some of the top oncologists and medical centers across uh, Southern California, um, we got her into Irvine, Cal we, we got her into Dr. Keneally's office in Irvine, California. And the doctor there was like, Wendy, I'm going to tell you two things because you know, the, the system breeds fear and that's how they back people into a corner. And that yeah. is what I saw from advocating from her with her. I saw them back, try to back her into a corner. Well, if you do this, if you go to Germany and you do these other things, you're going to die is what they would tell her. And that just did not sit right with me. I'm like, why is it this fear-based propaganda? Propaganda. So anyways, long story short, uh, within three weeks, I, I basically, she's like, she laughs now. She's like, you would have thrown yourself in front of the chemo room before I made that decision. Um, the doctor at the, at the natural cancer, cancer center, look, Wendy, you can make two choices. You can choose to allow me to empower your body to fight this disease, or you can come to me after the damage has been done with chemo, destroying your immune system. And then I can then try, try to undo the mess. And that yeah. was, I believe the turning point in her decision-making. She moved forward with the natural can cancer center. And it, it's not now, these are integrative treatments that have been used for centuries across the world. We are the only country that treats with full dose chemo, by the way. And um, two months into her, into her treatment, um, her integrative treatments, I, I like to say people think, oh, it's just this holistic, you know, no, these are like medical grade integrative treatments. And um, two months in, she, she had made the decision to get her mastectomy. She went in for her mastectomy on her left side. Her, her tumor was about three millimeters long. And um, the doctor called her two days later and said, we've never seen anything like this pathology before. Your cancer was completely necrosed. Your tumor was completely necrosed and dead. And to this day, she's cancer-free. She has no circulating tumor cell counts. She's made a radical life change with her health. I mean, she decided that she was going to make a decision that she was going to fight this cancer from all sides. 
And um, now, you know, through activating the body, this was one of the biggest and still is the biggest piece in prevention for her not to get the reoccurrence of cancer. Um, she is living a healthy life you know, and she's cancer free and thriving. In fact, I'm so proud of her. She just launched a raw food um, juicing business like three days ago. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see it. Um, oh, she's so passionate awesome. now about sharing wellness and sharing with people that for things to change in the system, it's going to change from us. You know, it's not going to change from the top down. Yeah. And, no. you know, activation has completely been a part of that. I know Kim would love to share with you guys the information that we've stumbled upon it is detrimental to um, the future of, of, of your family's health. So I would listen to this chick because she knows what she's talking about. And, um, you know, there's much more to the story. And, and guys, comment below if, you, if you'd like to hear more. Um, I know Kim can add you into um, her wellness group. Here you'll find information about what we're talking about. But that's it. That's it in the you nutshell. Know, and, <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing that. And, you know, the, the one thing you said that has just – been the catalyst for the change in me. I haven't always been natural minded, but was when I got to the point where I was tired of feeling like I was, it was always this bullying or this fear based mm -hmm. stuff. I just got to the point where I was like, why can't I make a decision for my son based on what I think is right? I carried him for nine months. Mm -hmm. I know what he needs. And here in America, it's just, you're not supported anymore. Um, to make a decision for your health. And it's, and, and, and that's, that's really what, what it's about is teaching people to get back to advocating for yourself. Mm. You're not going to make people happy, but staying silent means that you're consenting to what is going on and you know, good and well, we're all mm. very, 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 very sick. And so you staying silent is consenting to the problem. And if you think that the government is there to help us, we're on our own at this point. And I really do feel that way. Mm. So that's and Absolutely. I know Jenny feels the same way. <laughs> you, know, you know, Kim, one of the things when I'm now that I'm in this space of ad, like my passion is to help people. One of the hardest things for me now is to see people destroyed by the system, their health, yeah. their families, their lives, financially, physically. And one of the biggest pieces of advice that I could give to somebody that's watching this video that may have a loved one that has cancer is um, there's nobody that's going to care more about your welfare and the well-being of your children than yourself. No system no doctor, um, insurance companies. You guys, it is time that we rise up and educate and question everything. There is no yeah. harm. I tell my boys, there. I will never be mad at you for questioning out of the intent, the good intent of your heart. And that's yeah. what we have to start. We have to, we have to tell the future and educate the future generation. This is not here just with stops with us. This is yeah. the future generation understanding that it's okay to question when it comes to your well-being and the well-being of your family. And when you understand and you wake up, that's really when the beauty starts to happen because you're able to understand that there are other options, that fear, if fear is in the equation, then you need to stop and ask for direction. And that is, absolutely. When you, and it will come, it will come. I remember there were nights when we were going through this three-week process where my, with my mom where I was like, woke up in a cold sweat, like, am I leading her down the wrong path? Like I even questioned it, you know? And, um, it's just been a beautiful, beautiful story, a, a story of hope. And, and I'm passionate about sharing that with people, Kim. This is why I love connecting and working with, with you specifically, like you get it girl. And, and, and I see that your heart's in the right place. Like you want people to understand that there's a bigger reason and purpose for sharing what we share with activating, yeah. with activating the body. So, um, you know, I, I really hope that the right people see this video and that they reach out to you because, um, you know, when I started this seven years ago and being on this wellness journey and now coming through this with my mom, you know, I knew the people that, that were supposed to set the captives free would join this team and you have. And so I'm so thankful we're going to do incredible things and, you know, it's bigger than just um, that one person. This is this is a this is a domino effect and a ripple that's going to change people's lives. And so, I couldn't ask for a better person to be sharing this message with. And I'm just thankful for you. I'm very thankful for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jenny, for sharing your beautiful story. And 
Um, definitely going to let her get back to her vacation because she took time out for me <laughs> to come on and share uh, her incredible story. And yes, if you guys have questions, I hope you do have questions. I hope that when you see somebody who is woke or awake and they're that person that's like, you know, pushing the needle instead of getting angry like I did in the beginning, trust me, I did. I really, really hope that you will do your own research and you'll just you'll just test the waters. Don't think that they're crazy. Just go mm -hmm. and do your own research and start asking questions. That's really all we want you to do. So thank you, Jenny. Oh, Thanks, thank guys, for you. watching. And thank if you have you, questions, just message me. Bye, Jenny. Love you, have girl. a good evening. You're awesome. Love you. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye, guys.